that AI will be a technological revolution. AI is about to revolutionize digital biology and genomics and transportation. That the rise of AI is inevitable. It is close to science fiction. It is staggering. From healthcare breakthroughs to unsettling advances in automation, AI's evolution is happening at a breathtaking pace, leaving us with a million dollar question. Should we be thrilled by these developments or utterly terrified? In this video, we're taking a deep dive into the most important AI trends of 2024, examining the potential benefits and pitfalls they bring. I think the, the main thing that most people in the world are going to see is the new version of Meta AI, mm. right? So with Llama 3, we now think that Meta AI is the most intelligent AI assistant that people can use, though. I think that it needs to be taken extremely seriously. We've created something that is hard in some situations to distinguish from human level intelligence. Number one, smaller language models. The trend in language models is shifting towards smaller domain specific ones, as suggested by OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman. This shift marks a departure from giant models with massive parameters, with a focus on enhancing models differently. Massive models, while influential, pose challenges as only big companies can afford their resource demands. For instance, training a GPT-3 sized model consumes as much electricity as 1,000 households in a year, comparable to ChatGPT's daily usage, equivalent to 33,000 US households. Smaller models present a more sustainable alternative. Research from DeepMind in March 2022 revealed that training smaller models with more data yields better performance than training larger models with less data. Recent advancements in LLMs, such as those built upon LLAMA, LLAMA 2, and Mistral Foundation models in 2023, demonstrate that downsizing models don't mean compromising performance. Let's take a look at Mestral as a perfect example. Mestral's introduction of Mixtrel in December 2023, a blend of expert models comprising eight neural networks with 7 billion parameters each, proves this promise. Mixtrel not only outperforms the 70B parameter variant of Llama 2 on most benchmarks, but also matches or surpasses OpenAI's much larger GPT 3.5 on standard benchmarks. Number two, reality check. This year, the buzz around AI is prompting a reality check for businesses. Initially hyped up by marketing and media, leaders are now seeing AI like ChatGPT and DALI in a more practical light. Gartner's hype cycle shows generative AI reaching its peak of exaggerated expectations, while Deloitte's report suggests big short-term changes. But reality likely falls in between, with AI offering opportunities, but not magic fixes. The gap between expectations and reality comes down to perspective. While standalone tools like ChatGPT get attention, integrating AI into existing services brings longer lasting benefits. Before the hype, subtle AI features like Google's Smart Compose hinted at today's capabilities. Now AI is quietly enhancing business tools instead of overhauling them. How AI fits into everyday work routines will define its future. According to IBM, things like easier access to AI, lower costs, and integrating AI into regular business tools are driving adoption. These factors will shape how AI evolves and how businesses use it in the years to come. Number three, GPU shortages and cloud costs. When we talked about the push for smaller language models, one thing that is making it possible is the rising cloud computing costs and decreasing GPU availability. This trend, driven by necessity and innovation, poses challenges for bringing AI capabilities in-house amid GPU scarcity. James Lande of Stanford HAI highlights the rush for GPUs among major companies, stressing the need for cheaper and more accessible hardware solutions. Cloud providers shoulder much of the computational load, but hardware shortages make establishing on-premise servers for AI tasks difficult and expensive. Enterprises have been advised by IBM CEO Arvind Krishna to be flexible in selecting and deploying models. It's crucial to cater to diverse deployment preferences, including public clouds, IBM infrastructure, or clients' servers. Amidst these shifts, businesses must navigate a changing landscape, balancing smaller, efficient models with the occasional use of larger, high-performance ones to meet evolving demands and constraints. Number four, multimodal AI. Unlike past advancements, the latest wave of AI progress aims at integrating various types of data into a single model. While previous models like CLIP and Wave2VEC were limited to specific tasks within one domain, 
new models like GPT-4V and Gemini can seamlessly transition between natural language processing, NLP, and computer vision tasks. Additionally, emerging models such as LLAVA, ADEPT, and QuenVL are open source alternatives, further diversifying the field. One notable addition to the mix is Lumiere, Google's text-to-video diffusion model, which can handle image-to-video tasks and incorporate images for style reference. This advancement promises more intuitive AI applications and virtual assistants. Users can now receive natural language responses to image inquiries or visual aids alongside step-by-step -step instructions for tasks like repairs. Moreover, multimodal AI enriches the training process by incorporating diverse data inputs, especially from videos. According to Peter Norvig from the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, HAI, this inclusivity of raw, unfiltered data enhances models' understanding of real-world scenarios, marking a significant leap in AI capabilities. Number five, powerful virtual agents. Cutting-edge virtual agents powered by advanced AI are set to revolutionize business operations in 2024. Drawing on a year's worth of feedback and technological enhancements, these agents are poised to transcend their role as basic chatbots for customer service. Instead, they'll become adept at executing tasks, such as making reservations and coordinating services. This evolution is fueled by AI systems that process information faster and handle diverse data formats. According to Stanford's Norvig, 2023 marked the era of chatting with AI, but 2024 will witness agents taking action on behalf of users. Moreover, the rise of multimodal AI enhances interaction by allowing users to engage with agents through various modes, like images and text. Additionally, initiatives like Be My Eyes are integrating AI to enable users to interact with their surroundings independently, reducing reliance on human assistance. Number six, embodied AI. This year, we are going to witness a surge in embodied AI, where intelligent agents physically interact with the world like robots. Despite long-standing fascination, most people haven't encountered robots in their daily lives yet. This is partly because embodied AI demands aligning performance with human values, necessitating clear expectations and outcomes. Teaching these systems human preferences is crucial for their success. One of the earliest instances of embodied AI in everyday life will be autonomous vehicles, specifically robotaxis in major cities. Although the automotive industry has poured considerable resources into autonomous vehicles, widespread adoption remains elusive. The journey toward integrating embodied AI into our lives is just beginning, promising a future where interactions with intelligent agents become commonplace, reshaping how we navigate and engage with the world around us. Number seven, accessible model optimization. Making models more efficient is becoming easier in 2024. Recent contributions from the open source community are aligning well with the trend of enhancing the performance of smaller models. This includes not only creating new foundational models, but also developing techniques and tools, such as open source datasets for training and fine tuning models. A standout technique is low rank adaptation. Instead of directly tweaking billions of model parameters, LoRa freezes pre-trained model weights and adds trainable layers to transformer blocks, reducing parameter updates and thus accelerating fine-tuning with less memory usage. Quantization is also impactful, akin to compressing audio or video files. It lowers data point precision, slashing memory use and speeding up inference. Merging quantization with low-rank adaptation, known as Clora, further amplifies efficiency. Direct preference, optimization gains traction too, offering a simpler alternative to reinforcement learning via human feedback. Direct preference optimization strives to align model outputs with human preferences, being lighter and more stable computationally than reinforcement learning from human feedback. These strides, coupled with open source models ranging from three to 70 billion parameters, might democratize AI, granting smaller players like startups and enthusiasts access to sophisticated tools once out of reach. Number eight, customize local AI models. In 2024, businesses are embracing the idea of crafting personalized AI models rather than relying solely on prepackaged solutions from major AI providers. This shift allows them to create tailored models suited to their unique needs, whether it's enhancing customer support, optimizing supply chains, or analyzing complex documents. 
The availability of open source AI models is making this possible. By leveraging their data and refining existing models, they can swiftly address specific challenges without hefty infrastructure expenses. This flexibility is particularly beneficial in specialized sectors like legal, healthcare, and finance, where industry-specific terminology may not be well covered by standard models. These industries can also take advantage of locally deployable models that don't require high-end hardware. By keeping AI processes within their systems, they mitigate the risk of sensitive data exposure to third parties. Additionally, utilizing techniques like Retrieval Augmented Generation, RRAG, minimizes model size, enhancing efficiency, and reducing expenses. As 2024 progresses, success will increasingly depend on organizations' ability to fine-tune AI models using sole data pipelines, leveling the playing field and fostering competitive advantage. Number nine, Shadow AI. The rise of Shadow AI is set to escalate, presenting significant hurdles for IT departments worldwide as they struggle to monitor and regulate unauthorized AI usage. Shadow AI involves using generative AI tools without proper authorization, bypassing established IT rules. This trend gains momentum from the widespread adoption of generative AI solutions like ChatGPT, with nearly half of employees integrating them into daily tasks such as writing or coding. To tackle this, organizations are left to establish robust governance frameworks to mitigate risks like data breaches and regulatory violations. This involves improving visibility into AI usage, enforcing access controls, and promoting responsible AI use across the company. Neglecting to address shadow AI effectively could expose organizations to security and compliance pitfalls in the ever-evolving digital landscape of 2024. Number 10, AI regulation. The trends that we have just discussed are also deeply intertwined with concerns about regulation, copyright, and ethical implications. The advancement of AI's capabilities, especially in areas like multimodal functions, brings both opportunities and risks. Issues like deep fakes, privacy breaches, and biased algorithms are becoming more prevalent. For instance, a surge in celebrity deep fakes flooded social media in January while voice deepfakes increased by eightfold compared to 2022. The uncertain regulatory landscape poses challenges to widespread adoption. Businesses are hesitant to invest significantly in AI due to the potential for future legal changes. In December 2023, the EU made strides with the Artificial Intelligence Act, targeting issues like facial recognition, misuse, and biased algorithms. However, in the US, where much AI innovation occurs, Substantive legislation is stalled, partly due to political dynamics. China is taking a proactive stance with AI regulations, tackling issues like price discrimination and content labeling. Concerns about copyrighted materials role in AI training persist, with lawsuits like the one between the New York Times and OpenAI shaping future policies. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.